Okay, so we've been talking a lot recently about uh, Wii gun games uh, or Wii Zapper games. These are unofficial controllers and they only cost me about £1.50 or £2.50 um, each. Uh, and they're great, they work very well. But a better controller is this Daytel. Um, and uh, it's a Precision FX, I'll put the details in the description. It, it's really good, it's got a nunchuck built in. Um, and uh, it's just really comfortable to hold. Um, and also I tend to hold it like this so I'm a bit better on the aiming. Um, and you can also switch hands if you really need to as well, if your trigger finger gets uh, a bit tired like I did with House of the Dead. Um, but uh, I, I'm really glad that in, in some ways that I'm finding this much later on, because all the games are so cheap. Wii's are so cheap, I mean I've got a Wii U, uh, and that's what I'm using for the capture because obviously it can go through HDMI and the picture quality is great. But, uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the games uh, in the order of how I, how I found them. So from worst to best, uh, here they are. only got two lives left. Okay, so number 10 was Wii Westbang, which is only available on Homebrew, uh, and it's a port of an old system, but uh, still enjoyable. A little bit laggy on my virtual Wii, uh, which is through the Wii U, but uh, still enjoyable. Okay, so number nine is uh, Wii Play, and uh, the good thing about this one is it's good for all ages, uh, which couldn't be said for some of the games uh, in this list, uh, but it's uh, quite a nice friendly graphics uh, in multiplayer gameplay as well. And uh, although Wii Play, there's lots of mini games and lots of them aren't shooting, the shooting elements of it are very, very good. So number eight is Mad Dog McCree. Um, I used to really enjoy this in the arcade. I uh, didn't used to play it a lot, used to watch it a lot as a kid because uh, I think it was a pound to go and, and the, it tended to be over so quickly. Um, and because it's the arcade original um, and uh, it was very much about put, getting as many people to put their money in as possible, it doesn't really stand the test of time that well. Um, I still enjoyed playing it, still would definitely work, recommend it at this sort of price. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not as fun as uh, as I thought it was going to be. Be careful, that's Mad Dog's boys over there. Looking at my keys, stranger. You wouldn't be trying to get the sheriff out of jail now, would you, Chaco? Huh? Show him what we did in trouble. Mad Dog, you don't stand a chance. Let's go get him, stranger. I got him! Hey! So number seven is Zelda Crossbow Training. I paid 75p for this in CEX, so I was quite pleased with the price. Uh, it is still enjoyable and I will replay it uh, several times, I'm sure. But uh, if I'd have paid full price in the, in the original days, I would have been very disappointed. Uh, it's a bit repetitive. The, the levels aren't really designed uh, to keep you entertained or keep you on your toes. Mm-hmm. 
Next was uh, two games in one, uh, Gunblade New York and LA Machine Guns. Uh, they're coming at number six. Uh, may have been higher, but I actually felt quite nauseous when playing this game. The helicopter swings around quite frantically, and uh, after playing for about 40 minutes or so, I, I actually felt that I had to stop playing it. <laughs> Uh, and I didn't have that with any of the other games. Uh, it does it does move around really fast, but definitely enjoyable. And if you don't feel sick when you're playing it, I would highly recommend it. And number five is Reload, and uh, I really enjoyed this one, uh, especially the sort of FBI levels where you're trying to shoot the guys with guns and not shoot the innocents. Uh, and also I like the ver variety of guns that they offer you and lots of different game modes. It, yeah, definitely very good. This is one of the ones I'd highly recommend. Close combat shooting drill. In this round, you will shoot. Hit as many targets. Shoot. Start. So number four, which is Gunslingers, and the games are getting really good now, uh, really, really enjoyable. Great design of game, uh, I really like the graphics on it, uh, and the fact that you can play with the different characters, there's lots of things to unlock as well. So yeah, Gunslingers, excellent.
So number three was Ghost Squad. Uh, again, excellent. Uh, it's a superb game. Really, really good game design. Uh, really keeps you on your toes. Lots of variety. Lots of different uh, ways of shooting things like snipers and uh, rocket launchers and things like that. Uh, and uh, well, everybody seems to know about this game, but me. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. Alpha Blue. All teams are in position. Go, go, go! Mission start. Oh no! What happened? We've got cover! Number two is House of the Dead 2. I really enjoyed playing this. Uh, it was right from the start, you just get right into it. Uh, the uh, the villains coming at you or the horrors coming at you are, are just so well done. And I like the way that uh, you can sort of shoot out part of their head and, and the zombies still keep coming for you and uh, throwing things at you. And, and it, there's loads of variety in this. Really, really enjoyable. Please be safe, G. How could anyone do this? James, I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. Don't come! Go away! Go away! Please, help him! Don't kill me! There was nothing we could do. No! Help me! Need to hurry. So number one on my list is House of the Dead 3, uh, and I was lent this uh, by a friend at work. Uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3 came on one disc, and uh, both of them are so enjoyable to play. House of the Dead 3 just sort of pips it because uh, the graphics have really been upheaved a bit, so it, it, do, it does look better, lo looks more slick, um, and, uh, and a bit more variety in the early bit that I played. But I haven't played both games all the way through, so uh, obviously time will tell as to which one was best out of the two, but for the moment, for me, House of the Dead 3 is the best of all the light games that I've tried on the Wii. Uh, if you've got any other suggestions, I'd be really interested. Um, I've got uh, Dead Space to try, Target Terror uh, I'm being lent to try, uh, although I don't know how much of that I can show uh, on a video because apparently it's, uh, the subject matter is a bit dodgy. Um, so maybe I'll pick the, the video wisely when I watch a show of that. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It's been two weeks since we lost contact with Rogan. We can't wait any longer. You ready, Lisa? I promised Mom that I'd bring him home.
Get away! Just passing through. place. Some sort of feeding ground? Uh, we're trapped. It's coming, Lisa. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> 